What's up, my pilots? Angry Punch here, we're back playing Crash Team Racing. And this, that's the wrong way. Er, not that one. In this episode, we are going to go to what is actually the last track in the game, in terms of, uh, well, I guess I would call it the last track. It's, it's the track on which you fight the final boss. It is Oxide Station. So every track has a home, every, every racer has home turf. This, I guess, would be considered Oxide's home turf. I don't, I guess from the looks of things, this is actually on Oxide's ship? I'll let you be the judge. I don't know what the canon explanation is, but it sure looks like we're out in space. I like that you get this kind of preview of the last track before you actually get there. It seems like a good, a good bit of foreshadowing. There are a lot of, of things on this track that make it difficult, if I remember correctly. One of them is that you got the item boxes intermingled with uh, your crates of fruit. That can make things a little weird for you sometimes. Oh, I think I just knocked InGen off the track. <laughs> got him back from last time. I think he glitched out and went in front of everybody. Looked like he was in first for a second there. Oh, I was trying to hit Tiny. I think if you do it right, there's a uh, great shortcut you can take in this in this track. I, I, like I say, I watched a speed run of this game recently, and I, I saw some really cool tricks. And one of them was this track. There's a shortcut that cuts off. I guess we'll see how much time. But his lap times were in around one minute. We'll see where mine end up. Now this track is nice and curvy, so you can get plenty of those power slides in around the various corners here. Oh, I just went oh, too close on that corner because I was trying to avoid that potion. Oh, no, I wanted an item. I went the wrong way. Should have gone left. Oh, well. Oh, he ran into a potion. Nice. That's me and Cortex out front. Yeah, this track is not too bad for... Uh, the other, I mean, the other, in terms of the challenge, the other racers are going to present. Uh, I would have a much bigger worries about. Oh, I missed it! Damn, I tried to go for the shortcut. That was bad. Okay, I still have a shot to come back at this. I'm going to go for it again on the last lap. We'll see if it pays off for me. Careful when you see somebody respawning on the track like that. You do not want to hit them. <laughs> they will have. They have their. Invincibility frames still from being respawned, and their Booga Booga will knock you around, so you watch out for that. Ooh, I have the Booga. Nice. Your Aku Aku. I got another one? Are you serious? I think, they, I think they want me to win. The game is just handing them over. Giving me the race on a silver platter. I'm gonna try and hit a ninja as I go by. <laughs> well, alright, now I feel confident in trying to go for that. That uh, shortcut. Let me tell you, if you got 10 Wumpa Fruit, that Ooga Booga is a ridiculous power up. Wow, I can't believe he's already back up to I played pretty bad on that turn. I kept running into the walls. I got a TNT crate. That's where it is to me when I want to get out in front of me. Okay, so I'm going to go for the shortcut again. Let's see if I make it. I'm going to get 10 Fruit. So it's right up here. Whoa, that was close. You gotta cut this corner and pull in far left. There we go, I made it. That was a messy way to do it, but that's it. You just cut the track right there. So I think I cut what looks like 20 seconds off my lap time. So now as long as nobody gets a blue shell, I'm gonna finish the race untouched. If you look down at the mini-map, you can see I'm like way ahead of everybody else. They haven't even got to the beginning of this turn that I'm on. Alright, and that is... Oxide Station. Pretty easy on the singular race. If you can hit that shortcut even once, it puts you so far ahead that they're not going to catch up. And that was with me failing to get it the first time, so I, I lost a bunch of positions. Alright. So that is our last uh, normal race victory. All we have left is Pinstripe, the boss of this area, and then the final boss of the game. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Of course, then we're going to go back and try and win some Relic races and stuff, but that's a whole other issue. Why, 
that? You you call that racing? Forget about it. If you's gonna face Oxai, you's gonna have to get past me first. I'm the speed champion here, here, and I'm gonna save the world. <laughs> For a sizable fee, of course. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> okay, because his voice glitched out at one point, and he went, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, Pinstripes Challenge. Let's do it. So this is on higher speedway, and oh boy, this is gonna blow. So there's a shortcut on this track too, but it's uh, a, a buggy one. You have to go over. You have to hop over an invisible wall. I'm not gonna go for it. I'm gonna try and win on f flat skill. It's not gonna work though. <laughs> so I don't have enough flat skill to beat this guy. I'm gonna need a little bit of luck and probably 10 won't go through if I can get it. Looks like he's rolling bombs after me. So as long as I don't get any really big screw ups on this run, I, I have a, I have a good shot of actually getting in front of this guy. Now if I get that boost. Even one time, it would just be amazing. He doesn't take the shortcut here. Surprising, That's because the other racers actually know about it and use it, but the boss doesn't. Very strange. This is the part where you can hop over <laughs> to that other part of the track there. I'm gonna go wide. Whoa! Let's see if I can hit him. Hit him. Yeah. Hit him again. <laughs> For good measure! Yeah, right. Oh, I really wanted to get that. Turbo track right there. So this part you gotta be careful. He's gonna be rolling yeah, bombs right. after you on this straight away. You don't want to be in the way. Whoa, hello. Excuse me, sir. Watch your back. I wish you could throw TNT crates out in front of you. Oh, how am I gonna get by in here? Trying to slide through the corner. There we go. Oh, I was right in the way. I knew I was in his line of fire, and I just there's nowhere else I could go. Oh, he got the box. I wanted that, man. I wanted the Wumpa fruit. So he's just laying down constant obstacles here. He's got probably the toughest item to deal with because Your his mom. move, whereas the other bosses, they just lay him down and you have to avoid the, what's, what, what becomes a stationary obstacle once he puts it down. Get that track. Yeah! Look at that. I took that, turn, that corner really well. I passed him back. Alright, let's see how you'd like the bombs. Oh, I missed him. He must be right next to me. That's that that by him. Whoa! So the thing to remember here is that yeah, those right. bombs go in a straight line from whatever direction behind him. So you have to take that into account. He's not going to be able to throw them around the corner, for example. Watch your back. I'm going to put one right on top of this guy. Oh. <laughs> Say good night. I've got to stay away from him when he blows up. <laughs> some obstacles down too. I'm gonna cut this corner again. Hopefully I don't get that bomb when I go across. There we go. That's how I want to take that turn. Okay. Now I got a pretty good lead here. If I can avoid getting hit by bombs on this lap, I can probably win it. Like I say, you can only throw them in a straight line, so... This track is so curvy, it's probably not the best item for him to have. Of course, if he had rockets, he would just be ridiculous. I don't actually remember what Oxide uses. <laughs> Pretty sure he's got whatever item he wants, I think. Or at least if I, I, I remember him using more than one variety. Papu Papu had green and red potions. Uh, I think Oxide probably has nitro crates. That's what I would guess. Something that's a stationary obstacle, but still a huge pain. That's what they would give the final boss. Or is this guy you're having to deal with his uh, bombs? Is, where, how did that bomb get all the way up there? Did I do that? Did you throw that off the edge of the track or something? Crazy. Oh, I barely made that corner. Okay, now here, gotta watch out. I think I'm far enough ahead this bomb won't even catch up to me if he threw one. Whoa, what am I doing? I'll be driving sideways now. Ooh, I'm glad I had enough speed to get over those obstacles. <laughs> that was close. Man, if I beat Pinstripe on the first try, it may be the first time in my life I've ever done it. In the first try. That is spectacular. Look at that! Flat out one. I didn't take a shortcut or anything. That was... Maybe I can win on pure skill alone. I mean, I, I led him for that whole last lap. I didn't need to use an item to stay ahead. That's pretty good. Wow. That guy gave me so much trouble as a kid. I guess I have gotten a little bit better. So the only boss that took more than one try was Papu Papu. I think that was probably because I fell off the edge so many times. <laughs> I should have been able to beat him on the first try if I'd played better. 
Alright, wow, I'm really glad that the, the track of nightmares, Hot Air Speedway, didn't, uh, didn't come back to haunt me. So, you beat me fair and square. I doubt you'll be as lucky with Oxide. Here's a key for your troubles. <laughs> oh, brother. I don't know what he's supposed to be, like, Mafia Mouse? Well, the little Dara Berman has finally collected all the trophies to become world champion. What took you so long? Now we prove who the fastest driver really is. All right, Oxide's challenge. <laughs> Pinstrike is kind of downplayed because his race is right before the final boss, and he doesn't have that the right intimidation factor. You know, Mafia Mouse is not going to scare me when I have a alien trying to take over the planet. All right, here it is, Oxide on Oxide Station. Oh, he cheats! He flat out cheats! He went before the race started! Oh, I'm, I'm gonna call Interstellar NATO or somebody to, to, on this guy. Where did that rocket go? Did he just make my rocket go off the course? Hello? What? That was weird. Look at him, he's just littering the track with nitro crates. Really need to get in front of this guy. Now he's got bombs. Yeah, he carries a variety of weapons, it seems. Hit him, come on. Is he faster than my rocket? Very close. He gets hit by the rocket, he keeps going forward. That's crazy. I'm gonna try the shortcut. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I made it! Wow, that was insane. Well, if he's gonna cheat taking the race early, I'm gonna cheat by taking a shortcut. I, got, I might hold it in the bag here. If I can just keep a high, a good, a good lap time for these next few laps, I'll uh, come out ahead whether he catches up to me or not, I think. That shortcut adds so much time. I might go for it one more time, though, just to make sure I stay ahead of him. So he's a very fast racer, and he's got probably the strongest rubber band in the whole game. So he's going to try and catch back up to us pretty quick. Right now, it's like he's way behind, though, so I don't know if I really need to even worry. If he's still this far behind, I want to get to the shortcut, I'm not going to go for it on this lap. Sometimes it looks like he's closer than he actually is on the mini-map, because he's got to go through the loop-de-loop -loop there. Oh, I'm messing up my power slides. That's not good. Killing my lap time that way. That's all right. We'll keep rolling here. There's enough nitro track here. I'm gonna take it straight here. I'm not gonna try and cut the track again. He's not that fast. There's actually a shortcut here where you can turn around and come and land right on this part of the track without ever actually going uh, on that. Okay, so basically when you come out to the open area there, two jumps. You can go right from the first jump onto the part where you land after the second jump. That's the that's the shortcut you can take out in that part of the track. It's not a huge advantage, uh, and it's you can you can miss it pretty easily, so I, I, I don't go for it. You can see Oxide's catching up. He's got a really strong rubber band AI, I'm telling you. He's a little bit closer now than he was. I'm not going to go for the shortcut, though, because, like I said, I think you only need to get it once in order to hold him off the whole rest of the race. If I can play my power slides a little better on the slap, it will be a problem. You can still hear him up there throwing stuff around. I'm gonna hang on to this boost to this nitro. Nitro. <laughs> I don't know what you call him. Canister. I do love a track with lots of curves, though. Like a lady with curves. I like my lady like I like my race tracks. Nice and curvy. Woohoo! Yeah, so this is the one where you can go straight around and try and turn and land over here straight away. I think you have to have a lot of speed in order to make it, though, so I don't typically go for it. Oxide's like, you're no match for me! Dude, I'm a half lap ahead of you right now. I think I'm actually pulling away. Alright, this is it. We're coming up around to the finish line pretty soon here. There's so many parts of this track where you have a uh, turbo track on the ground. Get so much speed in this whole this whole track. Wow, look at that! Oxide! First try. That was pretty great. I got the shortcut on the first go, just barely hit it, and then just got good lap times and stayed ahead. Pretty good. Well, I gotta say that wasn't uh, as hard as I thought it might have been.
We beat the game, guys! <laughs> Look at him. Angry, four-legged... He looks like Sebulba. That's what he looks like. Congratulations, you won! Here's a loading screen! So that he's basically saying, <laughs> collect all the relics to unlock the bonus final boss. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, this little special effect right here, this is enough of a reward for me. Look at him. I don't even know what you call that little effect. Like, uh... <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't have a word for that. It's like a motion blur, but they, they grow larger. Whoa. Cortex. Big head. Big N. Is that a tattoo, or does he have a birthmark of an N? I really don't know. Well, this is fun. Uh, I, I'm not really going to give my end-of-game commentary here like I do with Anim and LP, because this isn't the end. <laughs> that tiny's going crazy over there. All those little echoes he's making. I don't know what you call them. But, uh... <laughs> so I'm not going to give my end-of-game commentary, because it's not, we're not done yet. we got we got to go and collect some relics and all kinds of stuff. I don't know if uh, you need to collect all the CTR tokens as well as all of the relics in order to fight the final, final, final boss, but we're going to try and get all of them. Shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully, I mean, if I can beat the last two bosses in one try each, then I can probably get most of the time trials, at least gold. I do know that to get platinum on a lot of the time trials, you have to do really, really well. You have to know the track, like the back of your hand. And I don't have that much knowledge for a lot of the later tracks. The early ones, I could probably get platinum on a couple tries. Like the Super Speedway, those kind of places, I could probably do it. Uh, but the, the later ones, like Hot Air Speedway, there's no way I'm getting a, a platinum relic on those. That's That would be ridiculous. So, I'm going to try to get at least any of the relics on any on, on each track because you only have to get the minimum like level the blue one in order for the game to count you as having all of them uh, trying to go to, for the higher levels after that is just for achievement basically <laughs> just to make you feel good about yourself and I already have high self-esteem so I don't need to get all the platinum relics uh, I am gonna try to get all the CTR tokens though those of you either you have them or you don't that belly Look at that belly, that's the other half of the memory for the game, is this animation here, of the... Uh, oh my. I don't know which direction is worse. <laughs> anyway, Ripper Roo is just... That's a weird boss right there. He's a ain't crazy dog in a straight jacket. I didn't even notice that. How does he drive in a straight jacket? Hard to even tell he's wearing it without how much he's flipping around right now. <laughs> what is this dance called, Komodo Joe? I don't even... Alright, whatever. I'm not going to question the boss's little dance routines. It's pretty weird. So yeah, I'll try and uh, unlock as much as possible. Who's... Look at its entropy! Jeez, we haven't we haven't heard from him in this game. What's he doing dancing around here? Hmm? I think he... Uh, he might be like a secret unlockable character. I'm not totally sure. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go back through the game after this, starting the next episode and pick up all those relics and CTR tokens, see what we can do. And once we have all the CTR tokens, we unlock the series races, and if we can win in those series, we, we can get all the gems, which will unlock Turbo Track for us, which is a fun little track. Kind of a bonus world, really, is what it seems like. And then, uh, I guess that's about it. There's a couple other bonus tracks, like one for getting all, I think, ten of, getting ten, at least ten of the relics. I think unlocks another one of the turbo track bonus kind of areas. I forget all the names. 
What is the deal? Oh, thank you for playing! You're welcome, Naughty Dog. You made a good game. Thanks for making it. <laughs> okay, that is Crash Team Racing. I will see you guys next time when we continue on our adventure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Yeah, we're going to be doing races over here in this little room at some point. I guess I'll go ahead and show this. Episode's not over. It's not over yet. Yeah, so here, you see, the CTR tokens are coming in colors here. Oh, that's Aku again. If you collect four CTR tokens of this color, you can enter the Gem Cup. Score the most points in the four races of the cup to win a gem. These are, the cups are kind of fun, actually. Now that, I, now that he's mentioned the name, I remember that you don't actually have to win every race. You have to have the best aggregate score after four races in a row. It's kind of like the Elite Four of the game. Uh, you don't have to win. It's like you don't have to win every time. You have to have the best average at the end. So that's that. That'll be our like finale series. Be racing through all those because you actually go back and do every single track again. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I've already outroed, so let's just end the video in a sudden cut.